you should listen to my music. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. Go check it out. Like, check me out. You should just be like, it's good shit. Hit me up. It's good shit. Can I say shit? You can. It's good shit. Like, <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Lauren Haragi, and this is Billboard News. It's Tetris with Billboard News, and I'm so happy to be hanging out with my friend Lauren. Hey, beautiful. How are you? Hello. I'm good, how are you? I'm amazing, thanks for hanging out with us. We gotta talk about this music. You're not new to the solo game. I mean, from expectations and all the success you had with that, so many releases. Tell me what's about this EP that's gonna be so different. I think there's there's more movement to this EP. This is a continuation of Prelude, which was my first EP that I dropped. Like the colors on the Kind of the sound and vibe that I was, I've been cultivating from that point. I've been writing since like 2018, um, and these songs are from that era. I haven't really locked in to start writing new stuff yet, so it's kind of a continuation of a story that would have been told maybe in the past. Well, let's talk about your lead single. Now, Wolves, yes. you got two amazingly talented people on it. Ty Dolla Sign, Russ, why yes. those two guys were the perfect people for the song? This song was written back in like 2019, so Russ and I have always been friends. You know, he's an independent artist as well, and I learned a lot from him and all of the wisdom he puts out into the world um, as an artist and as a being I, I felt very connected to him and we like grew a friendship just like kind of knowing each other and then Ty heard the track and loved it and wanted to hop on it so he did. So as we break down this EP tell me a little bit more about some of the other tracks and what they mean to you. I love all of these songs. There's six of them. Two of them are already out in the world, which are Always Love and Trust Issues, which I feel like give a very vulnerable kind of take on my songwriting. They're very just like my vocals and some strings and guitar <laughs> for the most part. I've got trust issues, and I know we all do. But I opened the project with a spoken word piece that's over some music that my friend Powers Pleasant produced, which is really beautiful and kind of goes even more in depth into the meaning of in-between for me. It's a poem specifically about that. It's called Meet Me in the In-Between. I wade in the waters of the in-between until I'm born again, anew and renewed. And something that I also have, feel, have felt I've watched you do is kind of like grow and bloom in your sexuality as well. I've been very proud of you because like Thank you were you. unfairly outed in 2016. <laughs> and then, but now you've kind of just owned your stuff. Yeah. And you're out and proud and living your life. I love your Valentine's Day post. So how is that? Yeah, I mean, it's life. I'm older now. I was 16 when I started in this industry and I'm now 26. So I feel like you blossom into yourself over the course of those years. You discover yourself, you meet people, you fall in love, you fall out of love and you learn yourself. And I think even when it comes to expression and identity and sexuality, I'm very fluid. So I feel like I'll continue to discover and engage with different parts of myself as I grow and as I'm alive. Don't wanna say, baby. Don't wanna say I want it. And talking about growth, obviously growing as a solo artist, yeah. you know, you obviously were a part of a massive group. And one of your members recently, Dinah, she said that she quit doing solo music in 2020 because of depression and pressure. Mm. So is that something you have ever connected with or do you feel like there's a pressure as being a solo artist? Yeah, I think all of us could connect with that. I feel like we've all spoken about our stories in, in respect to like that experience overall. And I think each of us needed our individual time to grow and discover our personal stories within the story of it all, you know? So I'm proud of her for getting through it and taking the time that she needed, and I hope she's doing beautifully, because I love you. I feel like it was just yesterday that it was July, and you guys were celebrating 10 years. Call me, let's move it up. And now it's about to be July again, in 11 years, I mean, what? <laughs> the fact just... that I could say I'm part of anything for 11 years is just like a lot. It's <laughs> wild, and I feel like every, Every other week, you guys are going viral for some moment or performance. Some What's one that outfits. sticks out to you that you haven't spoken on? I need to know, like, when you see this on the internet and you're like, oh man, I can't believe oh, this happened. Oh man. Um, well, with Fifth Harmony, this is an endless supply of that. There's so much good there's stuff. So, there's so much stuff. Definitely our carpet photos. I laughed so hard at y'all's comments about the carpet photos because I'm. I feel you. For people that are checking in and tuning in to now, they don't know Lauren. They haven't, they don't know Fifth Harmony. Hi. What do you feel like you want to say? Hi, I'm Lauren. 
Um, I'm a singer-songwriter. You should listen to my music. That's what I would say. That's what I would say. Go check it out. Like, you check me just out. Be like, it's good shit. Hit me up. It's good shit. Can I say shit? You can. It's good shit. Like, I love it. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us. Thank I really you for appreciate having it. Me.